Mike, you've done everything in your career, man. Is this one of the uh, the craziest things you've ever done? The quick turnaround, fly all the way to China, fight the young up and comer? Yeah, I mean, I guess so, right? I guess so. I mean, a lot of people, it's weird, you know, I mean, for a lot of a lot of the time in my career, I've been public enemy number one, and it's a refreshing change. I'm getting a lot of compliments off people. Um, everyone's like, oh, that's gangster, that's crazy, this and that. To be honest, I just don't understand why anybody in my position wouldn't take that fight. You know, I've got no injuries from uh, the last one. Um, I'm in shape, I had a tremendous training camp. The fight didn't go my way, whatever, whatever reason, it wasn't clicking on the night, you know, and that's just the way it goes. I had a bad night at the office, uh, I had a great training camp, and I get a chance now to go out there and fight the way I wanted to fight, you know. So, yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I guess there's a lot of mental pressure, a lot of stress. I should be enjoying myself, but instead I'm, I'm, I'm back to training. That was difficult last week. Uh, I sparred nearly every day of the week last week, and... Mentally, just to get up for that was kind of hard. I wasn't out of breath, but I was like, I was just stopping in the middle of rounds and I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered, but you know, that, that was towards the end of the week, part of me. But, um, but yeah, it's great. I'm here in Shanghai, first ever fight mainland China. Uh, breaking down barriers once again. So do you think a little bit about the historical nature of it? I mean, you've done so much in your career, but this is a pretty big moment for the UFC. You know, I mean, God, I sound like an asshole, but I've, I've done that a few times. So, I, I, you know, um, I think I was the first one in Australia. I fought in Macau. Um, you know, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, you know. First time I've been here to mainland China. Oh, tell a lie. No, I have actually. Um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I mean, to be honest, it's just another, it's another day at the office. Of course, everybody speaks differently and, and the food's a little different and this and that, but the people are very nice. I'm very, very happy to be here. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some more of China after the fight. Nice. So you admitted it was kind of an emotional decision, right? I mean, you, you were like, dude, I gotta get back in there and erase that out. So once you committed, has there been any part where you're like, what have I done? Like, I, what, oh my God. A couple of times. A couple of times when, when it came to the eating options. Do you know what I mean? When it came to eating, I'm like, geez, I'm here again. I'm dieting again, no. Um, a week after the fight, so since the last fight, of course, I lost my belt. And uh, yeah, it stings. But also at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm a grown man. You know, I'm very, very proud of the fact that I got the belt. I managed to defend it in Manchester, which is amazing. Nobody stays world champion forever. Would have been nice to keep it for longer, but I didn't. You know, these are the facts. So I'm still very proud. I'm good. Um, sorry, what was the question again? Just if you had any regrets. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sorry, that's what I was getting to. Um, after the fight, you know, I enjoyed myself. You know, uh, had a few drinks, ate too much, you know, but why not? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy myself. And on the Sunday, we, we, we did the fight on the Saturday or the Friday. Oh, no, it was on the Friday. So the Friday after the, my last fight, so it'd been five, six days, um, and negotiated it, I'm, I'm here, I'm fighting in China. I said, right, well, I'm gonna enjoy Friday and enjoy Saturday and then Sunday I'll check my weight. I don't want to check my weight, I don't want to know. I'm going to have one week, and my logic was, I can undo one week of damage in two weeks. You know what I mean, that's, that's my logic. And I got on the scale Sunday morning, and I was 214 pounds. I was like, holy shit, how did that happen? So I text Dana straight away, I said, Dana, any chance of a catch weight? And uh, you know, he shut that down straight away, that, that, that wasn't happening. But you know, a bit of discipline, within a couple of days, I was back down to 200. So not a bad wake up uh, in anticipated for these last couple of days? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I was 200 this morning, I got off a plane last night. Uh, of course, always a bit of water retention. Hopefully 199, even 198 tomorrow. If that's the case, walk in the park. I know the big question I've heard a couple people say is, you know, they're worried about your health. Do you, do you know, was it dangerous for you to step yeah. in again too sure. I mean, how do you answer that question? I mean, did you, did you take precautions? Did you talk to family? I mean, what do you think? Yeah. yeah. I was driving out for lunch with my wife and my in-laws when I heard it on the Luke Thomas show, Sirius XM, that they were looking for a replacement. And I, the conversation with my wife lasted around 15 seconds. I said, what do you think? You know, she was like, uh, I said, I want to do it. Everyone wants to get paid. You know, I get paid two pay days, one training camp. You know, <laughs> what's not to like? Uh, Health-wise, I felt great. After the fight, yeah, I had a couple of bruises here and there, you know, but this is what we do. Um, Dana was very adamant. I had to go through a bunch of medical hoops, which was a pain in the ass, because I only had one week to train. So I had to do all the training. I had to 
publicised the fact I was fighting, I'd do the interviews and stuff, I had to do medicals all over the place, so it, it was a very, very stressful week. Um, regarding uh, the fight, I, tra I spar three times a week when I'm training for a fight, you know, so in an eight week camp that's 24 sparring sessions, and those sparring sessions get pretty hard. The fight, you know, it's, I'm good, I'm fine, I passed all my medicals, uh, I'm, I'm good, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm great, you know, yeah, the, the main thing, I said this to Jeff Nowitzki, no, sorry, pardon me, Hunter Campbell, head of legal, he called me up, Mike, before we make this official, we need to know you're okay, you're going to have to do medicals, I said, listen, physically I'm fine, mentally I'm not, and the only way that's going to fix that is getting back in the cage, you know, it's like, uh, what, Christopher Walken in that, in that Saturday night skit, I got a fever, and the only thing that's going to fix it is more cowbell. And the only thing that's going to fix it is another fight. And here we are. Very nice. Kelvin Gasson, was he a guy that was on your radar at all? I mean, obviously he started well after you. So, I mean, had you, I mean, had you been watching his fights as an analyst? Had you thought about him at all? Yeah, I hadn't thought of him as an opponent. Uh, I've seen him, of course. You know, I, I work as an analyst and I've broken down his fights many a time. Um, Kelvin's a great guy. I've got nothing bad to say about Kelvin. This isn't on pay-per-view. I'm not trying to sell pay-per-views. I'm not trying to do any of that. So I'll be honest, Kelvin seems like a very, very nice guy. Apart from the fact he does a little bit too much pouting on Instagram. Other, he does this a lot. Other than that, he seems like a lovely guy. Great fighter, good hands, uh, great, good wrestler. He's had some good wins. He's beat a couple of guys that I, I, I didn't beat, you know, granted. They're not on the steroids anymore. Um, I'm expecting a tough fight. I'm not expecting a walk in the park. What I'm expecting though is a smaller guy with a shorter reach, without the experience. Uh, you know, I fight the way I can fight. I win this fight pretty handily. But we'll see what happens. No time for, as you said, for the Michael Bisping trash talk experience. I mean, is that part it's, of your game or is it just fun for you? No, it's fun. It's fun and it's very refreshing not to be doing it. It's yeah. so nice. It is because, you know, what am I going to do? No one's going to pay attention anyway, it's so late, you can't build anything. Maybe if we had a whole thing, you know, a couple of months and we did interviews, because that's how it happens. I see him, he says something and I respond and he responds. Before you know it, it builds. Hasn't been time for that. As I say, he's a good guy. I like Kelvin. I say I like him, I don't know him. I mean, I like what I see. Uh, and I wish him the best. I wish him a great fight, I really do. And may the best man win. I said that about George and the better man won on the night and God bless him. Uh, and, and I say the same for Kelvin, you know. Am I gonna try and knock him out? Of course I am, you know, and I think I will. Um, I've, I've, I, again, I've got a FIFA. I've got to knock this guy out because I was knocking people out in my last training camp all the time without sounding like an asshole. And I didn't show up on the night for whatever reason, you know, but that's the way it goes. So, I mean, with this fight, there's, there's no rankings at stake, right? There's no title shot at stake. It's a, it's a paycheck, which I got to think is good. And it's, it's a great really just to, just to kind of erase that down. Is that, what, is that really all there is to gain? It's just to, to feel better about yourself? Yeah. You know, I mean, I've I got to be careful. When I, I don't really want to say this because it gives every, all the haters that like to talk shit, it gives them ammunition. But like, I got back from New York. All the dust is settled, you know. And I'm laying in bed at night, and my wife's there, and I'm just kind of emotionally checked out. She's like, what's wrong? I'm like, well, what do you think's wrong? You know, a few days ago, I was champion in the world. I'm not now. And believe it or not, for all the, 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 the bullshit and the silliness that you get from me and the trash talk and all that, you know, I'm a human being. And, and yeah, I was down about it. I was pissed off, you know. Uh, and you take it like a man, of course. Take it with a pinch of salt. Three beautiful children, great wife health you know uh, but yeah I was down you know I was pissed off I thought, I'm fucking better than that I know I'm better than that uh, and then this happened so I was like one, one million percent straight away I was like this is like a gift from the gods that's awesome so a win here you've, t you've teased it out there retirement maybe in March in London I mean are you are you committed to that or are you still I don't know to... I don't know maybe yeah I guess we'll see I like fighting I like getting paid to fight I like traveling the world doing this, and I'll miss it, but right now the plan is beat Kelvin, and then one more in, in March. And that will probably, yeah, yeah, that is the plan. Is that the boss at home making that call? That ain't the boss at home, that is maybe the boss at home. <laughs> maybe the boss at home, and maybe it's my heart. Uh, it's, it's the smart thing to do. You know, I, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, my last fight will be next year. For sure. In <laughs> next <March>. year, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> my next fight, my last retirement fight will be March in London.
Stick it with it. Fact. All right. It will be. Well, first things first, we got Saturday night. Uh, like you said, a quick turnaround, man. Yep. How do you see this thing going? I think I win. I think I beat him to the punch all day long. I, 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 I do. Uh, everyone hears me say that all the time. If I fight the way I can fight, I can beat Kelvin. And, you know, he's had some good wins. But we'll see what happens, you know. We'll see, you know it's hard under those bright lights, you, you know. In the gym, I'm a different man and I didn't show up because you, I wanted to remain the champion so much. Do you know what I mean? Now, it's not about that. Now, I, I don't even feel any pressure. I'm just going to go out there and fight my fight. I don't want to be emotional. I'm going to be happy. I'm, I'm just going to go out there and fight as if I'm in a sparring session. And if I win, then great. And if I don't, well, fuck it. Who cares? You know, I'm not the champion anymore. I'm back to just taking fights for the sake of fighting. Does that mean I want to win? My God, I will fight to the death to try and win. I will never quit, you know, but if I lose, fuck it. 